Hi y'all! I'm back. I have a botanical haul. Okay, let me spit out this gum first because, you know, I know y'all hate that. I know y'all hate the gum part. So I took it out. Um, so, I want to show you guys something. Look at this. The Virgin of Guadalupe. $1. I got this at my local Hispanic grocery store. It's a coffee mug. And it has her on there and it's cool, right? And then I also have a unicorn mug that I got from the Dollar Tree, y'all. Look at that. I don't have much unicorn things. It just reminded me of my childhood. So I bought it. Okay, then we have some emergency candles. I use these for spell work. Okay. Dollar Tree. Um, yeah, I think I'm losing my voice. No. <sighs> I might just need something to drink. Right. Um, so, I love buying all these candles when I go to the um, Hispanic grocery store. Because, I, you know, the it's like a grocery store. And then there's a little botanica section. So, it's so funny to see the reaction on the cashier's face. they are ringing up your groceries. Oh, some cereal. Oh, there's some juice. Oh, there's a holy death candle. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> there's a controlling domination candle. Wait, what the heck are you doing? Okay. So, I got this Lucky Flame candle. And these candles are good for, like, they tell everything they're good for. Money drawing, success, wish coming true, luck and gambling, luck and love, prosperity, health, finance, wealth, um, things like that. So job, you know, things like that. This is like lucky attraction and things like that. So they had a bunch of white candles on sale. So y'all know I picked those up. Uh, four for five dollars. So I got all of those, and that was a good deal, so I couldn't pass that up. I like to write on those and create my own candles for my own purpose. Okay, then I got the black, last one, see my work day, candle. I have to get that one. Another white candle. Okay. And then I've got a small perfumed Virgin of Guadalupe candle. It's a little pity baby one. I'm sorry y'all if y'all heard all that clinking. Okay. The next oh, the next bag. Oh. Even though I sell this on my store, I picked it up because I didn't feel like ordering it. But it's some money, um, money soap. Um I put that in the shower for my husband to use. <laughs> he doesn't know what it is. He just thinks it's Irish Spring. Okay, so then I have this controlling and domination candle. Okay, it um, dominate. It's double strength, and it controls. So if you're trying to control someone's thoughts and actions and dominate them, this is a good candle for that. Okay. Um, it has the eye on there. You see the eye? <laughs> okay, I got another black Santissima Muerte candle. Another orange controlling and domination candle. Um, and then I got another lucky, ugh, this is Fast Luck, and it's the rainbow. The rainbow one. Um, this is the Good Fortune. It's the same as the green one, except it's the rainbow color one. Okay. I got another. <laughs> I know y'all are like, who are you trying to control? These are for clients. This is for client work. I have a lot of clients that want the domination and control. And sometimes I will use a white candle for the domination. Or I will use um, a black candle. Um, 
and do head work with it or I will do this candle if I have it so there's many variations of that client work that I do so if you had it um, control and domination spell done before and it was different well I do the spells different sometimes because when you do spells the same way every time you know you kind of get in a rut and they you're not as passionate about it so you want to kind of change it up sometimes and do things differently uh, have more fun with your craft you know that way your passion stays you know um, with you while you're you know doing crafting witchcrafting and hoodoo and all that kind of good stuff it's not like oh I'm in a world I hate doing this oh it's like oh I'm excited to try this new method you know, my new spell you know blah 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 um, so then I have the red Santissima Morte this one's for love and this one is in Spanish uh, if you do read the backs of the candles um, these are in Spanish on those okay they have more elaborate candles that were already dressed and had the fancy fixings and stuff on there but of course um, they charge you like triple the price when you can dress your own candles so I like to dress my own candles anyway so I never buy a dressed candle unless it's like on sale or something or it's cheap but I never buy those because I feel like you're gonna charge me five extra dollars to poke some holes, pour some oil, sprinkle the herbs I got at home, you know. Mm -mm, I could do that myself. <laughs> and get five more candles, okay? So that's why I like to dress my own candles. Um, so I've had really good uh, luck with these. These work really good. Uh, oh, and I also wanted to show you guys something I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is a magnet. And it says all I see is magic and it's a magnet um, I have it on my dry erase board because it's magnetic but you can put this on the back of your car your fridge your locker if you're still in school and they had different sayings but this one was you know my favorite all I see is magic so I have that so cool um, what else do I have what else do I have? I think that's all I bought. Yep, that's pretty much all I got today. Um, I needed those candles because a lot of people have been requesting uh, candle workings and because they can't burn the candles in their own house and they know I'll leave my candles burning until it burns out. They know that I will do that because I'm always at home and I can watch them and you know most of the time and I you know I'm very precautious you know I, I put them in water and things like that if I leave the house so it's very safe and uh, the candle can kind of all the way burn down and complete and it's also going to be on an altar with lots of energy so um, where spell work has been continuously done so your um, candle is going to be in an environment where there's lots of energy from um, spell working there's lots of energy from the deities I work with there. There's lots of my personal energy. It's in the moonlight if there's a moon and the darkness when it's dark and the sun when it's light. So it's gonna get a lot of energy onto that. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's very important. Like if you have someone do spells or candles for you, that um, you like their setup, you like their altar, you like the energy that is um, going into it and you feel confident about it. Um, because you don't want your, you know, you don't, you don't want your candle sitting in a, you know, <laughs> somewhere where you wouldn't put it in your own house, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, you want it to be in a powerful, energetic place so that that energy can manifest okay um for beginners because i had this question in my live video today for beginners start off with a simple white candle okay if it's your first spell ever you can start off with one of these or even one of these okay and just get you a piece of paper and a pen and you write 
a petition of what you want. Uh, I want, you know, or just will what you like, write what you want to happen. Like, such and such is going to marry me. We're going to be husband and wife or whatever. Now you can either write it on the candle with the Sharpie or you can write it on a piece of paper and fold it. Some people burn their petition with the candle. Some people put the petition next to the candle, under the candle, write it on there. It's all up to you. Whatever you could do, all three it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, and to dress a candle, like if you don't, if you don't have any tools or anything to start off with, you're just like super new and you just came to this channel yesterday and it's like, okay, I want to try a spell, and you don't have anything. Get you a white candle, okay? Poke seven holes in it. That's that's how many I poke. You can. Uh, that's just my number. Um, and go clockwise when you're poking. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. And if you have olive oil in your kitchen, you can pour a little bit of that into the holes. If you have a little bit of basil, or um, you know, sprinkle that in. If you have a little bit of dried mint, you can sprinkle that in. That's good for money. Um, if you're trying to do it for love, you can sprinkle a little, little bit of cinnamon, you know, from your kitchen cabinet and light it up, put your intention in it, like feel what you want and visualize what you want as you light that candle and light it. And that's it, you guys, like it's so simple and you let the candle burn all the way down and wait for your manifestation to come true. Now, if you can't leave it lit and you know leave your house you let it burn for you know a certain amount of time each day maybe that much and then you blow it out or you know actually some people don't believe in blowing it out so you extinguish it and then um i have a candle sniffer so i'm just used to saying blowing it out because <laughs> you know birthday candles but i have like an extinguisher um a candle sniffer but um you let it burn a little bit each day until it's all the way burnt down, you know. And some people like to leave it lit the whole time. Put it in a bowl of water, put it in your bathtub, surrounded by water, I don't know. Or extinguish it and relight it when you're in the, you know, in the room. Um, so, yeah, anybody can do candle magic. It's very simple. And... I suggest, you know, a lot of people ask me, can I do three candle spells at once? Yes, sometimes you have to. For example, if you're trying to do a love spell and, um, you know, a breakup spell, or if you're trying to do a friendship spell and a love spell, a binding, you know, you need to do all those at once, you know, so that it strengthens the other spell you know if you're binded to, if you're binded um, to someone and then you do a love spell on them that's gonna work faster and better um, you know if you want your relationship to improve you know you would you could do like a friendship spell so oh, I want to be best friends with my spouse or my partner I want to be in love with them so I'm going to do the love spell to strengthen that the friendship spell to friend you know strengthen our friendship and then the binding spell to bind us together I do all those three spells and that combination with three candles burning all at the same time is going to be super powerful you know but see some people only want to do one spell at a time and be like okay well I hope this works you know it's kind of like having reinforcements it's kind of like having you know, if you go to the dentist, okay, oh, you have to get five cavities filled, okay, we can do all of them today, or we can do one, and then you come back in two weeks, and then we can do the other one, and you come back in three more weeks. By the time you get back, you have grown another cavity, <laughs> um, or, you know, some new problem has sprang up, so that's why it's important, like, if you're going to do candle magic, don't be afraid to, you know, do a lot of them at the same time you know especially if they're going to help the other spells that you're doing okay um, another tip you know sprinkling some coffee um, ground coffee on the top of the candle will speed up your spell speed up your results 
um, and you know help it move along faster so candles very good um, beginner witchy item I do sell candles on my shop dark realm online occult shop but they're a little bit more expensive than you can just go pick them up in the Dollar Tree or your local you know grocery store or Walmart even sells them so I understand if you wouldn't buy them on my channel um, because you know they, they tend to overprice them in certain areas and on websites but like I said y'all see what I did I went straight to the store um, <laughs> but like if you don't have the access to go and buy these things and you just want them privately delivered I will put my link in the um, description box below and you can go check them out or if you just want to browse to get ideas and things like that go ahead browse um, so you want to start out with a blank one and then as you get more experienced you know get you something like you know lucky flame a little lucky flame candle and work with that until you know you feel comfortable working with other types of candles you know and don't rush don't rush you know take your time learning this getting comfortable with it because if you're uncomfortable with this like if you're still on the, the fence about practicing and you're doing this it's going to bring negativity to your spell so make sure you're very comfortable doing this okay get inspired like for example you'll be comfortable if you're inspired um, watch videos on spell workings watch uh, you know witchy movies you know get inspired so that the guilt really doesn't have any place or the confusion doesn't have any place or you know the old thinking does not seep into your mind because now you're inspired you're you're looking forward to it it's bringing you joy because you're supposed to enjoy your craft you know so don't do spell work if you're not feeling like you should be doing it you know what I mean don't do it if you feel like you shouldn't be doing it okay because you're gonna waste your time and your energy and it's not gonna work okay also feel like you deserve the thing that you're manifesting with the candle okay feel like you deserve it if you feel like you don't deserve it or it's far-fetched you're sending out those vibrations to the universe and saying I don't really deserve this but I'm gonna light this candle anyway I don't but I don't think I deserve it I don't think it's coming in you know you're that's what you're sending out so it's gonna push what you want even further away so make sure you're ready okay Oh my god, I totally missed a whole bag in my haul. Okay, so this stuff comes from Ross. Okay, I, sh I like Ross because they have a little bit of everything. Um, so I got this Bliss Lemon Sage Body Bar. And it's like a soap with a little massager on it like that. And it's lemon and sage. So like when you find products with certain herbs in it like sage you can use this for cleansing you know like if you want to cleanse it's almost like a spiritual bath it has sage in it there's lemon so you, you can use this for a cleansing soap you know it doesn't have to be you know a witchy soap um it's already got all the ingredients in it that are to cleanse and uh, purify your energy okay i also got this andalo naturals Fruit Stem Cell Science Non-GMO Avo Cocoa Skin Food Mask. Wow, what a name for. So I picked this up. And I, you know what got me? This is for dry skin. Um, and it says apply evenly to dry skin. Avoid eye and lip area. Remove after 10 minutes. Okay. So I get dry like up in here in my nose and in my eyebrow area. So I'm only planning to use it there. <laughs> um, but what got me was that this stuff smells like chocolate. Okay? Now how are you going to pass up a chocolate that comes sealed? How are you going to pass up a chocolate mask? Look at that. It smells straight up like chocolate. I just want to eat it. I don't know. Like I'm about to lick it but it's it's you know chocolate is full of antioxidants as well so it's 
keeping you young at the same time. I really wanted to try this. And y'all know they have like these high-end products for super cheap. So this one says beauty is love. I like how they have the little stuff in the box. And it says age-defying root stem cells. Okay. So I'm going to read what it says because it's kind of cool. Fruit stem cell complex organic avocado vitamin E pure dark cocoa abundant in antioxidants and amino acids effective effectively slow cellular damage and stimulate healthy cell renewal replenishing moisture balance and dermal structure for soft smooth skin okay wow well, i'm going to try this out and let y'all know what i think but the main thing i want to show you guys because i missed was the skull yes look at it it's like a gold this is gold or silver it's like a mix between gold and silver skull and this is the Walter Mino. it's only $8.99 okay that's a really good price so and it has felt at the bottom it's a decoration piece um and I also got my other skull that you see back there that blinged out skull I got that at Ross too so um this I, I'm gonna use these for head workings like I use my skulls except not that one not the bling not the blingy one um, sometimes I do but I have one skull that I use for head workings and now I have two because sometimes I get more than one spell for head working and uh, I like to have them going at the same time instead of having to wait for my skull to be done with the little chime candle on it so now I have another one so I can do more than one at the same time um, so how I do mine, my head work, I'm going to show you guys in a video very soon. So y'all look out for that, okay? I'll see you next time for real this time. Bye!